Hi, I'm Dalman Ross, and I'm here to make your life easier. <laughs> this is my Excel for ADD Sufferers series. Uh, did you find the dummy stuff too hard? Despair not. No video here will be longer than five minutes, guaranteed. Today's topic, what the bleep is a pivot table, and why should I care? We'll discover the answer and make a decent one in a few simple steps. Okay, here's an easy fictional data set in Excel. Several volunteers solicited pledges from among five noble charitable campaigns. These are the results in the first half of 2013. Grand total at the bottom. Great. Now what? Well, a pivot table will let us re-examine portions of the data by turning them on their side, edge, head, whatever, to give us useful analytical perspectives. So here goes. To create the table, click somewhere inside the data, go up to the uh, Excel menu, click on Insert, and in the ribbon bar, click on Pivot Table. We're going to accept the defaults, click OK. All right, what happened? Well, Excel created a new sheet in our workbook and put the skeleton of our new pivot table there. Its data source is our original data table in the Pledges tab in this workbook. And for a pro touch, we can rename the sheet, call it, uh, I don't know, Pivot Pledges. Now we're going to want to play with the choices in the field list over here on the right to see what that's about. I'm going to pick Volunteer and Pledge. So now we see how much pledge money each volunteer raised in total. Not bad. But we'll want to add some more complexity. Which campaigns did the volunteers raise pledges for? Well, let's click on Campaign. Hmm. Okay, that could be interesting, but um, <laughs> let's try something. Let's drag campaign up above volunteer. To me, that looks more helpful. Sorting by campaign first and then volunteer. All right. Let's try adding the date. Ouch. Good info, but it's starting to look ugly. So, uh, experience tells me to try something here, and you'll get there too with some playing around. Uh, let's try dragging the date up somewhere else. For example, above volunteer. Hmm. Well, let's try something uh, further. Right click on any of the date entries in the table itself and uncheck subtotal date. All right, that looks a lot cleaner to me. And while we're in here, right click again and we're going to group the date by months, which is the default in this case. Click OK. And uh, this is starting to look pretty darn good. Campaign by month. And then you have your volunteers under there and their totals Total, total pledges raised. All right, let's clean this, clean this up some more and rename row labels. Maybe we can call it campaign. We can rename some of pledges. And how about pledges raised? This is looking pretty good to me, but... Uh, Let's go to the Design tab on the Excel menu and choose a pivot table style that uh, we like best. For example, well, that one looks good to me for this data. And that's it. We're done. Campaign, by month, by volunteer. There are the totals. Hope you liked it, and maybe your boss will appreciate your new skills. Email me, Dalman Ross, at info at cluesforhumans.com. Thanks.